Also tonight, WJZ continues to celebrate Women's History Month. It's really important. And tonight, we're actually giving you a sneak peek, an exclusive sneak peek, at a brand new exhibition that's going to honor Maryland civil rights activists. Hey, we told you about this yesterday. The Maryland Center for History and Culture will feature Juanita Jackson Mitchell. Now, she was the first black practicing attorney in our state and instrumental in helping to end segregation. WJZ live for you at the museum in Mount Vernon. Christina Mendez spoke with Mitchell's granddaughter about how important carrying on this legacy is. Hey, Christina. Hey, well, Juanita Jackson Mitchell carries the title of Jennifer's grandmother, but to her and many of us in America, she has many more, most notably for being a civil rights activist here in Baltimore. She talked about growing up in a segregated Baltimore city and, and just seeing the injustices and seeing the disparities and the white only, colored only, and she knew it wasn't right and she knew that she wanted to join that fight. And fight she did. Juanita Jackson Mitchell became the first black practicing attorney in Maryland. Using her law degree, Jackson Mitchell filed lawsuits to end segregation. She helped pave the way for Baltimore to become the first southern city to see its schools desegregated. My father shared with me the audio recording and I wanted to share with you her direct quote. I use the law as a tool to crank up this democracy and help to steer it in the direction of implementing its great constitutional freedoms that all men are created equal. In a new exhibition coming to the Maryland Center for History and Culture, a mosaic of stories from the civil rights movement will be heard from the 1930s through today. Jackson Mitchell will be among the voices. This interview is from the late 1970s. A really totally segregated community, and the barriers to economic opportunity were formidable. Allison Tolman with the museum is crafting the new display, which will also include Jackson Mitchell's signature hats, a piece of clothing she fought to wear proudly in court. To hear people talk about this is what it was like, this is why it happened, and this is what it felt like, this is what I feared, this is what I was strong about. It's incredible to now. Jackson Mitchell was the daughter of legendary NAACP leader Lily Carroll Jackson, a family who's dedicated their lives to fighting injustices then and now. It's important for me to continue the legacy. I feel that I carry her spirit. Uh, I work in nursing uh, and nurse education more specifically, and so uh, through my work, I like to inspire, to lead, to advocate, to fight for injustice. And that exhibition does open on May 20th. I'm reporting live at 5 tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. We should definitely check it out. It's, it's really important to humanize these history facts, right, that yeah. we have. So I love seeing stuff like that. Well done. She Christina. said she went into nursing. I think she picked the right field. Yeah, she for sure. Did. Talk about meant to be.